the director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention had a new warning about Ebola. This was Dr. Thomas Frieden. I will say that in the 30 years I've been working in public health, the only thing like this has been AIDS. And we have to work now so that this is not the world's next AIDS. In addition to the death in Texas, the Ebola virus has now killed more than 3,800 people in four West African nations, including Liberia. More U.S. troops and supplies arrived there today to help battle the disease. And the race is also on to develop a vaccine against it. Dr. John LaPook tells us there is now a vaccine being tested first to see if it's safe. The vaccine is produced by GlaxoSmithKline and is being tested on healthy volunteers. Nurse Ruth Atkins got the first dose. In addition to the 40 in Mali, 20 are being tested at the National Institutes of Health here in the U.S. and 60 in the U.K. It's the first phase of a multi-step process before approval. It's been effective in primates, but this is the first human trial. Adrian Hill is the chief researcher in the UK. This is happening extraordinarily rapidly. We've done over 100 clinical trials at this centre. Typically, it would take us about six months to get a vaccine trial started. We've done this in just under four weeks. Everybody reviewing the protocol has done this in record time. This is an example of efforts by the World Health Organization and the NIH to accelerate Ebola research without being reckless. Dr. Anthony Fauci is the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. So you can't just give it out. You have to determine if it works. That will likely take place in the first quarter of 2015. A trial for a different vaccine is set to begin this fall at Walter Reed Army Institute of Research. It's licensed to New Link Genetics. The company declined a request for an interview. Several experimental medications have been tried in individual cases. John, they're speeding through this. What are the dangers? Well, one danger, obviously, is side effects. If something's powerful enough to kill Ebola, it's powerful enough to give side effects. But then a more insidious, perhaps, is being faked out into thinking that something's effective when it's not because you so want it to be effective. And I think of ZMAP, that experimental cocktail of antibodies that was given to Dr. Kent Brantley, and at about the same time he recovered. And so people are saying, well, it was the cause of his recovery, but that his own immune system would be expected to be kicking in at around the same time. So was it the drug, was it his own immune system, or a combination, which is why you, we so desperately need to do these trials. Dr. John LaPook, John, thanks very much.